Hey guys, it's Fraser here, and in this video, I'll be showing you how you can install Git on Windows 10. So, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so first things first, you want to go to your web browser of choice. I'm going to use Google Chrome, and what you want to do is download the latest version of Git for Windows. So, what you want to do is uh, come to uh, the Git website, I'll have a link to it in the description below, and what you want to do is download Git. And so we're just going to wait for it to finish downloading. Okay, so what you want to do is open up the Git installer. And what we're going to do is just click next. And then these are fine as default. So we're going to click next again. And then it will ask you what default editor you want to use. Now, if you're uh, a beginner and don't know what Vim is, I would change this. So use like Nano or uh, Notepad++. Uh, but I'm just going to keep it as Vim uh, Yeah, right now. And I'm just going to click next. And then it will ask you how you're going to use git from the command line. Uh, so I'm just going to use it uh, from the command prompt with the optional Unix tools. Uh, you can, you know, you can use the recommended, uh, although that also installs like third party software. And, I, you know, I'm just fine using it from the command prompt. So I'm just going to uh, click that. And then what you want to do is click next. And then we're going to use the open SSL library. And then it will ask you uh, what the line end line ending conversions are going to be. Uh, so what I do is, yeah, check out Windows style, commit as Unix style line, end, line endings. Now, this is good if you've got something like a Linux machine and you also commit um, on there with the Unix style line endings. So it makes sure it's, uh, you know, it's all going to be the same across uh, all of your commits. So I'm just going to click next. And then it will ask you what, yeah, what the default console window will be. Uh, I'm just going to use the Windows default console. However, if you want like a console, uh, a terminal emulator, you can use the min tty. But I'm just going to, uh, yeah, use the command prompt. So I'm just going to click next here. And then I'm just going to leave these as they are because, yeah, I want caching and the git credential manager. I'm just going to click next again. And we, you don't want to use the experimental, uh, so I'm just going to uh, click install after that. Now, I've already got Git on my system, so I don't want to click install because uh, it will just come up with an error. Uh, but I'm just going to click cancel and then exit setup uh, and cancel, exit setup, yep. Okay, now to make sure that you have Git installed, do you want to open up the command prompt? And what you want to type is Git and then version like this. And press enter and as you can see uh, I have git version 2.24.0 installed in my system and that is what we downloaded and now I'm just going to do git status which should throw an error because this is not a git repository um, but it, yeah as you can see now that git is working obviously you know we got an error here but that just shows that yeah git is installed and it was looking to see if this was a git repository so yeah Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this video, and bye bye.